Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yell ho ho and a bottle of rum. Drink and a devil head and full of rest. Yell ho ho and a bottle of rum. But five men returned from Treasure Island. Drink and the devil had done for the rest. I, Jim Hawkins, was one of the survivors. Of Long John Silver, I heard no more. I think he joined up with his wife and is living happily with her. I hope so, at least, for his chance of happiness in the next world is slim at best. As for me, I invested my share of the treasure in the purchase of a boat to trade with the islands. One evening, in my cabin, while my ship was in port and almost all the men on leave, I heard a suspicious sound. What the? I'm locked in! Hey there, sailors! Open up for your captain! No use calling your men, Jim! We took good care of them swabbies! Who are you? How dare you lock me into my cabin? Don't you remember us? Morgan, Dick, and Yellow Dog. Mutineers! Those are the mutineers from the Hispaniola! I'm in a fine fix now. You thought we was gonna sit and rot where you left us? Not bloody likely! A ship picked us up and here we be. Tis years we've been dreaming of revenge, and now it's payback time, Jim Hawkins! Why me? Oh, you be just the first, Jim. We'll take good care of Long John soon as we get our hands on him. <laughs> but we let you live. We won't make the same mistake. At dawn, we're hoisting anchor. And once at sea, you'll be a-dancing on the plank. <laughs> Quiet, Jim! Or we'll deal with you earlier than we planned. The Black Spot. A keepsake that old scoundrel Long John offered me. Pirates have their own justice. When they condemn one of their own, they pass him his sentence written on blackened paper. That's what happened to Long John when his accomplices wanted to get rid of him. But the judgment was never carried out. That old fox, Long John, manipulated his mate so craftily that he saved his hide and provoked their disaster. The ones who escaped death were marooned on a desert island. There was Dick, Morgan, and Yellow Dog. I still remember their screams as our ship pulled away from the coast. Damn their eyes! Long John Silver's parrot? What's he doing here? Ah! A message! Ah! A message for Jim Hawkins! That's Long John's handwriting! This is my will. I, Long John Silver, have been lucky enough to increase my fortune during the last years of my life. I want these assets to benefit the only loyal friend I ever had, Jim Hawkins. He should come take possession of my treasure on Emerald Island, where it's safe from the lust of the greedy. So, the old rogue is dead. And I'm his heir. Hmm, there's a map attached to the message. The map ain't hardly precise, but there's instructions in the margins. This enigma ought to lead me to the treasure.
Spinning Emerald Island, mate. Hoist all sails by the monkey's tail. In winter scale and summer's breeze, I made me way o'er the seven seas. The window's my only chance. But if I dive, the noise will alert the pirates. If I attach a rope here, I could get down it quiet-like. This rope's too short. Psst. If you're lost, press the objective button and I'll set you on the right road. This rope's too short. Right. To tie two lines of different thicknesses together, you gotta use a sheet bend. Nothing to it for an old salt like me. I'm in too much of a hurry to make a complicated knot. Two half hitches ought to do the job. Jim reaches Emerald Island by dead reckoning, just misses the anchorage pointed out by Long John. Violent riptides force his dinghy onto the reefs of Cape Fear. Uh, looks like I might have made a slight mistake in my heading. Wouldn't have happened if I'd had all my navigational instruments. What a fool I am. Not as if I didn't have a marine chronometer and a perfectly good sextant in my cabin. Thanks to my negligence, I've lost my dinghy. What a bother. But there's a time for everything. We'll look into that later. Well, here I am, ready to set to work. I followed Long John's first directions. The rest of the Enigma ought to lead me to the treasure. Curious? I felt some resistance when I picked up this old knife as if it were lying on a magnet. The rope has worked. It's impossible to untie this block. I could use a good knife. What animal could have left tracks like this? I sure wouldn't want to meet up with it. That blade is good for the dustbin. Just the hilt might be salvageable. What's this? Letters carved in the wood. L.J.S. Hey! Long John Silver's initials! This is his knife! I wonder why he just left it on the beach.
There are traces of resin in the bottom of this pot. Blistering barnacles! Ring. I need some tool to hook it. Who left this bottle? Long John? Wonder if he came here for his siesta. Ah, so there you are. Do you know where the treasure's hidden? I'm sure you could lead me straight to it if you wanted to. In the sky, two colors by the sea reflected. A flower on the necklace blooms if they're blended. Bah, you're just repeating Long John's riddle. That hardly gets me ahead. Is that all you can do to help me? Nana's in rum. Nana's in rum. you for what I ate. This red feather's yours to take.
joked on with an ass, and I'm off to announce it in a flash. My boat. The current drove it up on the beach. It's in dreadful shape. Men not a dead man's chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. The rest, go on. Uh, let's see if I remember the words. It starts out like fifteen men on the dead man's chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. And then, uh, and then. Drink and the devil had done for the rest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Was fixed by the bosun's pike, the bosun brain with the marlin spike. The cookie's throat was marked belike, it had been gripped by fingers ten. And the devil had done for the rest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. 
The mate was fixed by the bosun's pike. The bosun brain with the marlin's pike. And Cookie's throat was marked belike. It had been gripped by fingers ten. And there they lay, all good dead men, like break the day in a boozing ken. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil had done for the rest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. This feeder had salt in it. A thousand thunders! A trap. Better not touch anything. By just stepping over the string, I can get by without harm. He doesn't look very accommodating. Best keep our distance. Let's go look for the ram now. Hey Horny, I put a present for you in the feeder. Some excellent salt. Go taste it and let me know what you think of it. on the skin of the ram. It's the northern part of the map, and the next part of the enigma. Better copy it all down. Here's the second part of the enigma. I know I'll get to the end of it, since I figured out the beginning.
I had the fright of my life. I didn't know what I was doing anymore. Good thing the trap was deactivated. I'd have run headlong into it. Well, well. This wasn't here the last time. the mouth of Hollowhead.
It's useless. The more I move, the deeper I sink. I'm stuck. Blocked by the quicksand. I'll die drowned. If these mosquitoes don't eat me first. Jim! What? Who's talking to me? So, Jim Hawkins. In a jam, are we? Who are you? How do you know my name? I know lots about you, Jim. You might introduce yourself. Show yourself. My name's Pepita. And I'll show myself when I feel like it. Help me, Pepita. Get me out of here. No, no. You're covered with mud, and I don't want to get dirty. But you can't just leave me like that. Why not? Please. I don't feel like exhausting myself for you. But I'll give you a hangman's rope to bring you luck. First, let's just attach a rope to the roots to help me get down safe-like. I'll tie a figure eight knot. My head spinning. I caught the fever in that bloody swamp. Long John's treasure is buried here. I need some implement to dig with. Peter? Ah! Help! Are you hurt? No, but I'm soaked through and I'm cold and it's dark down here. That girl is a walking catastrophe. She deserves that I leave her to rot where she is. A mask, a megaphone, false claws. I thought so. girl took me for a right fool.
Not a bad idea, but we'll need another rope. This pick's handle is a handspike. Looks like the one Long John used sometimes as a crutch. Oh, without that tackle, I'd never have managed. Even with it, it's tough. Hey, I'm not that heavy, honestly. The fever's exhausted me. I can't go on. I fainted. And Pepita's has vanished. And she didn't even say thank you. logbook written in Spanish. There are pages missing. So the Spanish tried to colonize this island. From the state of the buildings, I'd say they've been gone at least ten years. This bellows got a hole in it. This page surely comes from the log of the Spanish colonists.
Something's carved into the bark. It looks like a heart. And it was done recently. That's much better. My fever's gone down, and I'm feeling right as rain. Gold. Silver. It's Long John's booty. Hey, there's something carved in the bottom of the chest. Pursue your journey toward an even more precious treasure. A second treasure? Now that is interesting. I'll just copy this down. Well, Long John is decidedly spoiling me. Now he's promising me a second treasure. I won't leave the island before I find it. This is the last piece of the map, and the end of the enigma. Now I know where my journey will come to its end, in the very center of the island. I'll have to make my way upriver. It's dangerous, 
but if I follow the map, I should make it. Jim? Jim Hawkins? But Peter, where'd you disappear to? Will you explain to me once and for all what game you're playing? I shouldn't. I promised my father not to tell you anything. Your father? Long John Silver. I'm his daughter. What are you talking about? He died childless. Otherwise, why would he have left his treasure to me? He's alive! The will, the map, the enigma. All that was just made up to bring you here to him. What about the chest I found? A mere test. Daddy wanted to try you before entrusting you with his true treasure. Oh, right. A greater treasure is in store. Just what is it, anyway? You really haven't any idea? Mmm... Do you think I'm pretty? surprised me when you came. I didn't expect you so soon. I, w I was afraid. I wanted to run away and I tripped. You were afraid of me? My father said I wasn't to show myself. When I realized you were going to find my hiding place, I panicked. Very clever. You weren't any better. When the statue screamed, you didn't think twice either and took to your heels. Of course. I wanted to guide you to the bush that cures the fever. Wouldn't it have been simpler to prepare the medicine for me? Too easy. Daddy told me specifically not to help you too much. Uh, yes. I wanted to frighten you a bit, to see how you'd react. What if you had crushed me? Not a chance. I aim to just miss you. Not a chance, huh? A blunder can easily happen. But I shouted to warn you. And anyway, everything turned out fine, didn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I really shouldn't. My father wants to tell you it all himself. Come on, then. All right, I'll tell you. After the celebrated Hispaniola expedition, Long John set up with his family on Emerald Island. He had two good reasons to disappear to that godforsaken place. To escape from the king's justice and from the pirates. The years go by. When illness carries off his wife, the old man worries about his daughter's future. Who'll watch over her when it's his turn to pass on? Who'll bring her back to civilization? Neither a pirate nor an outlaw, but an honest and loyal fellow. In fact, Long John has but one friend worthy of his trust, Jim Hawkins. To incite Jim to come, Long John can't simply send a clearly worded invitation. That would lead to disaster if his enemies intercepted the message. So, he drafts his will, accompanied by an enigma and a treasure map. The route is carefully prepared in order to test the young man. Pepita is instructed to monitor his progress. She has to observe his reactions and forge an opinion about him. If she likes the boy, she'll let him reach the hideout where Long John awaits. If he displeases her, she'll fix things so Jim leaves the island without meeting anybody. We know the outcome. Jim saves Pepita and the young lady breaks the rules by confiding in him. It's my father who should have explained all that to you at the end of your journey. But you're almost there anyway, so I imagine it doesn't make much difference. In the most inaccessible spot on the island, near the Blood River Falls. Let's go see him together. No! He'll be angry if he sees that I didn't play my role till the very end. Give me a little head start and then you leave. You have the map and the enigma to guide you. Have it your own way then. Be patient. It's almost over. I have to go now. See you at the falls.
Pita's been gone quite a while. It's time for me to get moving. A black flag? What could that mean? The pirates! Drink and the devil had done for the rest. Here, whoa, whoa, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> hey, that degenerate. Didn't Morgan tell us to go round the whole island? In why tire ourselves? Morgan were lucky he set his hook on the lass, and she'll take him direct to Long John for sure. When the old man's got what's coming to him, we'll be off. Think we'll have to wait long? I almost hope so. Thanks to this tafia we come upon in the fort, we can keep us busy. <laughs> You're down enough a dram. Listening to the pirates, Jim realizes the seriousness of the situation. Devil only knows how Morgan and his gang found Emerald Island. They've come to hunt down Long John and kill him. While hugging the coastline to find a safe mooring, they surprise their enemy's daughter. <laughs> Morgan has forced Pepita to guide him to the headwaters of Blood River. Two of his men accompany him. Others were ordered to explore the island. Once out of sight of their chief, they prefer getting drunk. By thunder, I have a bunch of buccaneers on my hands. Think I'll start by dealing with those two drunks in front of the fort. My three master. And I think that scum came this far on my own ship. Cursed bastards.
That's not a bad idea, but something's missing. Not yet. Not yet. I loaded the cannon and adjusted the sight. I can recover the hand spike now. Now that's what I call a fine shot. Right in the munitions hold. But it's my own ship I've had to sink, and at the same time sacrifice a treasure won with much difficulty. Pirate curs, they've made me pay a heavy tribute. At least the route to the beach is now clear. Let's go to my dinghy and see if I can make my way upriver. What do these carved figures mean? If I didn't have other things to do, I'd try to clear up this mystery. Oops, that clam almost broke my arm. I need something really solid to keep it from closing up.
I've got to plug the hole in the hull of my dinghy. No point worrying about that busted mast. I'll row my way upriver. Hull's repaired. Now I can row my way upriver. Ring's rusty. I'll use an anchor hitch to keep it from fraying my rope. This river can be fatal. You can't even dip your toes in it. Pirates are up there. If I'd gone up, they'd have filled me with lead. Ahoy! Jim Hawkins! You wanna negotiate? Let Pepita go! And just why'd we do that? She didn't do anything to you. Could be we'd release her. <laughs> Could be. It's Long John we want to talk to. Tell him to come up and see us. If he comes, we'll let Pepita go. Ah, that's claptrap, that is. Don't tell me you don't know the whereabouts of your old mate. Oh, ha ha, cause you ain't got no choice. <laughs> we got the girl. Don't give in, Jim! Ah! You, the shrimp! Open your gob one more time, or rip your head off! A treasure map? It's a trick. We've been duped once by a fake map, and that cost us a bunch of years on a desert island! If we was hoodwinked, it was cause we took promises for ready money. That won't happen twice. Hey, Jim Hawkins, listen close. It ain't the map we's after, but the treasure, and nothing less. You go get it for us. If you really got treasure, you'll put it in the box. We'll hoist her up, and after, Mark, I said after, we'll free the shrimp. Ahoy up there! 
I've put something in the box. Hey, what's that what's coming? That ain't no treasure. It's a bottle. It's wrong. And so... Uh, give me that, dick. You let go of me, hear? Ah, stop it, you bunch of scurvy dogs, ye. From Soap Swab, you killed Dick. Stop that bottle now, or else. Pipe down, Morgan. I'll drink if I want to. And if you ain't happy with it. <laughs> Derby sea rat. Oh no, that's awful. Well, what do you suggest I do? The enigma with daggers. You'll soon seal its fate, allowing you to traverse the watery gate. The enigma with daggers, you'll soon seal its fate, allowing you to traverse the watery gate. This time, I'm close to the end of the route. Long John! Ah, Jim, at last! I was expecting you sooner. Do you realize I almost left my hide in your blasted treasure hunt? Yet here ye be, full of spunk and ready to take on new challenges. Like freeing a bonny lass captured by heathen pirates. Your daughter, Pepita? Ah, so she spoke to ye. I forbade her to do so, but no matter. If she disobeyed me, then it means she has feelings like for you. One more reason to set her free smartly and to punish that scurvy dog, Morgan, who dared take her hostage. You'll find a way. You can't tell me Morgan and his gang of drunkards will hold you up for long. I'm old and kimp, Jim. You gotta take up the gauntlet now. We be in the caverns where the Indians worship their snake god. An excellent hiding place. I holds up here whenever strangers be on the island. Hmm. <laughs> so long as you let them be, them snakes don't attack. They come in here for a little siesta in the shade, when it be burning hot outside. Exactly. That's just what me enemies would have thought if the letter had fallen into their hands. And that would have advanced my interests. I thought you'd been killed on the beach. I found your knife there. Arrgh. So that's where she were. 
Must have lost it when I was a-hunting for shellfish. I ain't certain, but I got an idea about how things must have happened. There be but one person knew of my presence on Emerald Island. Quiet Jack. He brought supplies twice a year. I entrusted him with me parrot and the message. But I took care to make sure Jack didn't meet ye directly. He were to free the parrot in sight of your ship and let it carry you the letter. I suppose Morgan and his bunch happened on poor Jack. He ain't the chatty sort, but pirates know how to untie a tongue. They must have made him give up the island's position. Lucky they didn't get the parrot, and you got the message. Where does this passage lead? It be a secret passage that come out in the cave I fancied up to live out me days comfortable like in. Morgan be there now with Pepita. Walk quiet like a cat and you'll be able to spy on him. How many other ways out of your house? Only one. The passage that come up from the landing. Morgan and his lads come up that way. But I sprung up here and they didn't find me. Son, looks like your ordnance be less reliable than me old crutch. I saw. Good job for someone who claimed to be old, weak, and unable to help me. There's so much left in the old carcass, I guess. You complaining? Hey, you two! Instead of blabbing, get these chains off me! Where's the key? <laughs> It's Dick what got it, and he be in the bottom of the river now. <laughs> oh no! Could be that there's a double of that key someplace. Could be. Could be that there's a double of that key someplace. Could be. Look, Morgan, or I'll send you for a swim in that river. I got but one thing to say right now. I'm here drowning in my own blood, and you'd let me die like a dog? That ain't worthy of Christians. I can't operate on an open wound like this. How can I help him bear the pain? suffice. You gotta fix me up now, Jim Hawkins. You gotta cure me, or for sure I'm gonna die. How are you holding up, Morgan? Good thing there's the rum, Jim Hawkins.
yellow dog as a double of the key. I sent him to reconnoiter the western part of the island. He must be somewhere around there. Oh, it weren't easy. Long John had been hiding for years. We asked around to know who he'd been seen with last, and some old salts told us about Quiet Jack. We heard that Jack had buy supplies. Once a year, set sail alone. We figured sure as shooting, he was off to resupply the old bilge rat. Bilge rat? Morgan, you crab-faced leper! You want me to wring your neck to teach you manners? Oh, very well, very well. Begging you pardon, me lord. <laughs> I meant we was on to something, in a manner of speaking. So, we cornered Quiet Jack. We made him spit out the position of the island, and he didn't know naught else. Yeah, you ain't gonna kill me, are you? Not after fixing you up. That'd be a waste. No, you're just gonna stay here. Right. Oh, looks like I'm good for a couple of years of Desert Island. Uh-oh. A pirate. He's got a rifle. I reset the trap. It's very close by. If only I could scare him. Thank you, Jim. You used Yellow Dog's key. Did you kill him, Jim Hawkins? No, Morgan. I caught him in a net like a big fish. Not bad, Jim. Not bad. And better yet, I saved your treasure. I had to use it as a cannonball to shoot at my ship, but I recovered it from the wreck. Uh, well, Jim, you see, uh, I got to tell you something that, uh... That treasure ain't got no value whatsoever. A chest was filled with copper coins, painted gold or silver. Huh? But... but why? I needed a treasure to put you to the test, and I had nothing better to hand. A thousand thunders! 
or be indulgent with an old man. I had to think of me daughter. Be certain he was fit to watch o'er her. You'll savvy when you have little ones yourself. Well, in the meantime, here we are poor. I came all this way hoping to find fortune, but instead I've lost my boat and there was no treasure. You certainly got the best of me, you old scoundrel. But I, Jim, there be a treasure. Neither silver nor gold, a greater treasure is in store. Emeralds. Let's get back to the snake cave and I'll tell you all. I chanced upon these caves when I was searching the island to find me a hiding place. I'm dead sure the Indians hid their treasure, emeralds, right here. Do they come from the mine? Aye. The vein had almost given out when the Spaniards arrived. But before them, for centuries, the Maya Indians extracted your most gorgeous stones that they offered to their snake god. How do you know they're hidden here? I had the inscriptions in this gallery translated by an old Indian. Listen close. Let them answer all three beneath the serpent's gaze. From south to white north, how many days? From south to west, how many to count? And from west to north, add what amount? When twixt their arms the moon takes shape, the dazzle of riches will leave all agape. Another enigma? This one ain't mine. It's from the day when the Myers ruled this island. I ain't been able to decipher it. You, Jim, you'll manage, and then the treasure's ours. What does that mean? This be the glyph representing the moon. I've got to admit, I'm impressed with your knowledge. Ah, oh, it's limited to the inscriptions in this gallery, the only ones I got translated. What does that mean? That be a glyph what means either a count of days or the march of time. What does that mean? I think the symbols around the basin be a series of dates. But they don't follow each other, chronological-like. Odd. It looks like the calendar wheels fit here as well as behind Hollow Head. Calendar wheels? The two discs you set there symbolize the sacred calendar of the Indians. The year has 260 days, each one designated by a number and an image. The year begins on one crocodile and ends on 13 flower. Curious system. The Maya had lots of associations that seemed strange to us. For example, every cardinal point was symbolized by a specific day and by a color. Red was connected with the east, green with the center. The center? Yes. In addition to our four cardinal points, the Maya had a fifth, the center.
my goodness. Jim, look. It's horrible. A lance head. Its venom is fatal. Shivery timbers, Long John. What are we going to do? He can't speak. If he makes the slightest sound, he could be bitten. Let's wait for the snake to go away. But if it's decided to take its siesta on Daddy, it could stay there for hours before it leaves. Jim, do something. My father won't be able to stand that way for long. It were the only solution. Reflect the sunlight onto the snake. When it be very hot, them critters take shelter in the shade. Lucky you thought of it. Good. Now we take the treasure and we're off. Leave without me. Be happy, both of you. And enjoy your lives. I'm staying here and hiding. The Admiralty courts are looking for me, you know. Yes, for swindling, murder, mutiny, and piracy. But what matter? We've got the wherewithal to buy all the pardons you need. We're going to be very rich, Long John. Too rich not to become respectable. Dear friend, if you would do me the signal honor of entering first into the treasure room. The honor is all yours. I wouldn't dream of it. Then I'll go in first. Thank you.